When we look at the theme of guilt, Macbeth's guilt about murdering his king Duncan and ordering the murder of his friend Banquo causes him to have guilty hallucinations. Lady Macbeth also hallucinates and eventually goes insane from guilt over her role in Duncan's death. The fact that both characters suffer torment as a result of their action suggests neither Macbeth nor his wife is entirely cold-blooded. Although they commit terrible crimes, they know on some level that they have, what they have done is wrong. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? Blood, specifically Duncan's blood, serves as a symbol of that guilt and Macbeth's sense that all great Neptune's ocean cannot cleanse him, that there is enough blood on his hands to turn the entire sea red, will stay with him until his death. Their guilt prevents them from fully enjoying the power they craved. Lady Macbeth says, What's done cannot be undone in Act 5, Scene 1, but her guilt continues to torment her. While Macbeth's guilt causes him to commit further murders in an attempt to cover up his initial crimes, Lady Macbeth's guilt drives her to insanity and finally suicide. Out, damn it, spot, out, I say. Yet who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Yes, here's a spot. Out, damn, spot out, I say. One, two, why it is time to do it. Hell is murky. Bye, my lord, bye. A soldier in a field. What need we fear? Who knows it? When none can call our power to account. Yet, who would have thought the old man to have had so much blood in him? Oh. I fain have fight. had a wife. Where is she now? No more of that, my lord, no more of that. You marvel with the starting. Oh, yet here's the smell of blood still. All oh, the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. <laughs> 